What is up? It's Ken Conklin here. I'm here at the Gravel to Castle headquarters. I have a couple incredible gentlemen that are over today and we're gonna get a workout in, kind of go through a typical process, focusing on self-improvement and give you guys a tour of the new property. So let's get right in. Most of yeah. the time, it's worse than a, a shot to the face. Yeah. Wow. Most of the time. Body shot can drop you way, way easier than a shot to the face. It's not a power punch. Oh, I see. This, is, this punch is to keep distance and to look for openings to okay. stretch your opponent. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Always be ready after a punch for the counter coming. One, two, and move. Yeah. Okay, hands up, hands up. So we just wrapped up with a nice workout, then some pad work and like body sparring. Your own, how was your experience uh, getting it's the boxing very, in? Very professional. It's well, def no, I'm definitely not the professional, but we got some other guys that are a lot better than us. But what, what was it like being able to, yeah, just get your hands, you know, going through that process? And when you try to uh, feel better, you can always punch somebody, <laughs> yeah. you feel much better after you get rid of all your bad energy. It's very yeah. relaxing. What, what's it like working out with a group of guys and having that experience it's compared good. to being in the gym by yourself? Yeah. In the gym, you walk alone, nobody talk to. Here, you have more commitment, more like uh, friends that you can do activity together and get uh, good memories. And, uh, yeah, it's yeah, fun. It's and you get you know, people like me to hold your uh, standard to a higher level and yeah. really force you to uh, yeah. get that practice in but yeah, yeah it's been a ton of fun just being able to have some guys over and experience that you know as a small community and it's starting small but the whole goal is just have the intimate experience of everyone that's part of it really get out of it what it's designed to give and then we'll see what this turns into so i want to give you a quick walkthrough of the property just kind of give you an overview of kind of what our goal and objective is here um, as well as, yeah, just kind of have my vision be shared and we'll see how it kind of evolves into that. Uh, Cause you never know, it could turn into exactly what my vision is long-term or it can kind of evolve as we go along. But I really want to start documenting everything. So first off, I want to show what I'm actually most proud of, to be honest, um, is this pull-up bar. So just built this, literally had to go run around trying to find supplies, uh, but installed two pillars, uh, yeah, went, and got this whole pull-up thing. So just being able to have that kind of, um, I guess, makeshift gym, but really like a jungle gym, you know, utilizing equipment, don't have to go and buy all this stuff. I'm still gonna go and install, um, you know, some like squat racks and bench presses, some nice padding, but really the goal is to make this a place where you practice uh, intentionality and discipline but also just being a resourceful individual, meaning not needing to go have all the fanciest equipment, being able to utilize the ground, utilize whatever tools you have that are pretty basic to get the most out of it. And that's something that I've always preached for this past year I've traveled and basically just utilized pull-up rings and the ground. And of course, like going on runs uh, for most of my workouts. So, but yeah, that's, that's the overview of this. Obviously lots of space. So we have our core values right here. Uh, basically, our whole objective, like I said, is to be super intentional, right? Know why you're doing everything, have everything be aligned with what your actual outcome is. Be ruthlessly committed, right? Don't stop until you've actually won and achieved your goal. 
Face what you fear most, you know, facing your demons, getting over whatever shit that you've been dealing with. Say you've had some sort of addiction or some sort of bad habit that you know is sabotaging your life. We're trying to recognize what those things are and get rid of them. Embrace masculinity, right? It's so important for a man to be a man and to be that masculine protector, uh, provider, and just be able to lead yourself so that you can lead other people. Uh, stop fucking lying, you know, being clear on where are you? Where are you trying to go? And really being comfortable sharing that reality of what's not working so that way you can figure out what you need to do to get to where you wanna go. Uh, and then the last thing is tell your story. You know, I think every man has the ability to inspire other people. It doesn't have to be some guy that's already built up his kingdom. He can just be sharing what's really fucked up in his life and what isn't going well to then either get some perspective from another person uh, or just be that guy that gives some insight to another person like, hey, you know, you hear a story. If that guy went through this, then I can get through my stuff. You know, inspiration is really important. Nothing too fancy in here right now, but this will probably be like a lecture type room where we can have, um, yeah, like a big whiteboard, be able to have some guys, you know, taking notes, uh, implementing things. So this will be kind of, yeah, like more like a training room. But of course we have the kitchen and then we have Yaron in here. Just, yeah, we have, you know, some basic stuff. I don't utilize this too much. Uh, right now I just have food that gets delivered, but overall, yeah, simple place and it works. So I'll give you a quick tour of the upstairs. So what's really nice is this property has five bedrooms. So I'll probably utilize one for a podcast room. Of course, my room. So now I'll have three rooms I can actually host guys. But yeah, we have this upstairs. We're at 8 a.m. We have our morning huddle. This is where my guys and I will kind of go over the plan for the day, hold each other accountable. We have a midday check-in and then a you know, 6 p.m. end of day kind of overview of how did today go? What's the intention for tomorrow? And what's cool about over here is we can definitely have more chairs laid out, but possibly even like a sunrise uh, yoga session or like a sunset type of thing. But what's cool is there's enough space to be able to get away. You know, around this whole entire property, you could actually go running and have that ability to be in your own space, you know, find a quiet spot. Uh, just outside of when there's the times where they're doing construction, of course. But um, as you can see, you know, as Yaron's leaving, we have a whole, you know, massive gate. And what's cool is this place is actually really secluded. You know, it's in a nice, quiet neighborhood. And um, that's something I've been really wanting to have throughout this whole entire time period is a place that, yeah, we can just have as our little oasis, you know, self-improvement sanctuary to just focus on improvement in every aspect of our lives. So I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you for sticking along. Be sure to like and subscribe as well as leave a comment on, you know, what you want to see moving forward. But uh, there's a lot of really cool developments. I'm really excited for what this is all turning into. And I hope to see you at the property sometime soon. See you next time.